All right, let's take a look at this amazing add-on called Population. All the human crowd simulation you saw in that video was created with this add-on. This add-on is super helpful and I've been looking for something like this. I wonder where it has been. All right, so let's take a look at how easy it is to use this add-on. So if you want to go ahead and get this add-on, the link is in the description of this video. Go over to the Blender market and get yourself a copy of this add-on. You want to go ahead and install it. Install from Dix. Locate the add-on. You select it and click install from disk. So I've already installed it. When you install it, you'll see the population add-on pop up. Then you have to go ahead, go to library part and look for the files by clicking this. It has about three packs. Install the packs, select the location and click on install pack. So it's pretty straightforward. And then we'll have the add-on show on our sidebar. So if you press N to pull up the sidebar, we have the population add-on. So in the add-on, you can see there's single people and crowd. You select crowd. There's the classic mode, the cluster mode, follow curve, grid mode, group, on vertices and stadium mode. Select the classic mode. You go ahead and select the style of characters that you want. There's the casual, sport and business. For this video, I selected sport. And then you can use, you can select individual characters or just pick from this collection. This one we have like three times characters, three different characters. We have five different characters here. So let me just use this three. And then the category, we have communication, daily life, dance, walk, walking, run, sports. So if you select sports, you can select different animations. Uh, let me select this aerobic. And then you just have to press this add a new person. After selecting that, hit import. Wait for the operation to load. So we can pick this eyedropper tool and select the plane as our target object. Go ahead, add people, import. And they will have them imported. So you go ahead and just scale this up. And you have a lot of people in the scene. You can select the characters and scale them down to fit the size of your scene. And they are all animated. So if you press this, you can see all of them are doing aerobic animations. Switch this to rendered mode. Go ahead and hide the plane. Press play. See, it's a massive crowd. Adjust the distance between the characters. If we increase the distance, it will reduce the amount of characters by spacing them out. So this will be more realistic. Select them. We can come here. You can click on cluster. And we'll have like groups of them together. Can reduce this distance to bring in more characters. Can increase the cluster size or decrease the cluster size. So there are just a lot of settings that you can do for this the cluster proximity and their color randomization. There's the follow curve mode. This follow curve mode is really cool because you can just draw a curve. You come here to style, select the style that you want. So you can use these five spots, five different characters in the sports mode, and then walk. And we can just select a standard walk, and then click on add a new person and import so it's pretty straightforward it will take you straight into edit mode where you can draw where you want the characters to walk through so let's say from here to here 
and then you can see the characters are there already and if we go back in time I'll increase my time frame start from frame 1 and you see all of them are walking all in this direction so I can go back to turn this on so you can see the curve path they are all following this curve path now if you go back to object mode you can move the curve where you want let me see they are walking across this road they are walk all walking in this direction you can come to the settings change the seed to have different formations the count will increase the number of people walking all in that direction now this is like pretty awesome because to do this normally you have to animate each character duplicate them and it's, it's a ton of work this just makes it very easy and increase the count to a large number of people and then press play and you can see all of them are marching forward so let's turn the numbers down a bit and then you can if we select reverse all of them faces direction and we have this bidirectional probability so if you increase this some will be walking forward while some will be walking backward we see they are encroaching they are passing the area of the road and if we want them to just be on this road area we can just come here to this flying spread width and adjust it and make it a narrow area and all of them are moving together okay, so if we select this you can come here and pinch or inflate so if we pinch this area we have all of them walk pass through that narrow area and then spread out and then if we inflate that area we have it just go wide like they walk all around in a wide direction and if you see as we extrude the vertices we have them form like this so what you really want to do is draw them on the surface target your surface and just like draw them out and it keeps going like that let me hide this if i draw them draw them all the way up here you can see they are following the road that's just really awesome draw you can just draw them all over the street and then we have a ton of crowd walking all over the place like this is so awesome imagine having to animate this by yourself like doing each and every one of these characters by yourself wow you can just come here and just draw a cover and then you have characters spawn in different directions this is just really awesome and in no time you have populated the full city with real life walking characters if we go over here to the single people you can just select any of these random characters select what we want them to be doing we have the hd version and then the low poly version so after pressing import go ahead and draw single person and then we have one single person walking right there just walking down we have ambient we can select someone doing push-ups and then go ahead and import yeah so that's really cool We have a character doing push-ups right there. 
super adjustable you can just select the character and scale the character down to the size of your scene you're done and there are a ton of things you can select this aerobic doing abs just select doing abs hit import and there you have the character doing abs let's shift that this way you can see that like how cool is this this just makes the work 10 times easier I can see putting these people in a gym, in a gym setting. Imagine 1,000 people or even a million people doing push-ups. Like, that would be something cool on the street. So, like, let, let's try that out. Let's try that out. Can go. Crowd. And then we need group of people. All of them doing push ups. I'm going to make our own push up army of people. Add new person and then hit import. Wow. We have an army of people doing push ups. This is this insane. Uh, I think I'll shift all of them here. Wow, we can increase the size of them. We need all of them occupying this area of the road. This should be like world record for the most amount of people doing press up at a time. <laughs> this is just awesome. Like we have the add ons just doing all the work while we stay here and just have fun with the same. This would be pure chaos if we let this happen. And then hit play and all of them are doing push-ups. Like the possibilities with this add-on are just it's endless. Can imagine what you could do with this. Yeah, this on vertices is really cool. That's how I created this scene here where we have all of them standing around in a circle. This was done using the this was done using this on vertices mode. Alright, so I just went ahead, came here, add mesh, add a circle, and then scale that up. Vertice, extrude, scale, and scale that out. And then come select the faces, all of them, and subdivide it a number of times. So we'll have people on each of these vertices. So selecting this plane now, if we go to this add-on and select on vertice, we can select from the pack. I choose casual people and uh, let's use three times casual people. And all of them were like cheering. Oh, people cheering. So see this? What cheering? Add and then import and you see we have all of them placed in the scene around so this density is way too much reduce the probability and then i also want to scale all these people down they're just way too big to match up with my scene all right cool so now you can notice that these characters like they're all looking in this direction but i want them to be looking at this vehicle like so in order to do that you can come here look at the target select this and then select your ta target so the target is going to be this vehicle and you can see all of them are facing the vehicle and the cool thing about it is that wherever the vehicle goes it will turn and face it when the vehicle leaves the scene you can see all of them turn and just follow all of them just turn and look at it as it exits the scene so this this makes it look more realistic they're like cheering like woo, woo. 
<laughs> so the, like this is really not safe i won't advise you know you guys to try this but it seems cool because they're having fun like who am i to stop this crowd from having fun and see how easy that was back into edit mode and if i just keep drawing people around and use the accounts and now we have a whole lot of people moving around in this city all right that, that bus just ran over a couple of people so if you want to get this ad done, like I said, I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video. So just go ahead and get yourself your own version of this add on and, and then have fun with it. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.